Hey, Sky, this breaking news in an out of control wildfire is really spreading now throughout the hills of Santa Barbara. Take a look at the live pictures that we have coming in. Some multi million dollar homes have already been burned in the tiny town of Montecito, we're told. We've been following this one for you all morning. The town is a place where celebrities like to quote unquote hide. Oprah has a house there, and uh, actually, her home and the honeymoon home that President Kenny. Kennedy had are in danger of burning, officials say. Firefighters have now ordered more than 2,500 people out of that area. They say a 1,000 homes at this point are really in deep danger. Now, this was the scene earlier this morning in Santa Barbara County. Fire officials say the cause of this huge blaze is just not known, but it quickly spread, and that's all because of fierce winds that are blowing there. It spread into Montecito, but before it did, the fire destroyed 70 homes in the hills of Santa Barbara. Barbara. We're going to continue to follow this situation for you throughout the morning as we have, and we will bring you more details as they become available. On to other news now. Could Senator Hillary Rodham Clinton be the next Secretary of State? Certainly is a possibility, and everyone seems is talking about it. Two Democratic officials say Clinton is a contender for the job in the Obama administration. The president-elect has already named several of Mrs. Clinton's former uh, husband, former President Clinton's aides to his administration. Well, the global economic meltdown is bringing leaders of the world's wealthiest nations together for a two-day summit. President Bush is hosting it to examine what caused this crisis and how we can prevent it from happening ever again. The president says Americans will overcome the economic odds that are against us. The world will see the resilience of America once again. We will work our, with our partners to correct the problems in the global financial system. We will rebuild our economic strength, and we will continue to lead the world toward prosperity and peace. President Bush says despite all of this, New York City will remain the capital of the financial world. When it comes to the stalling auto industry, congressional Democrats reportedly do face an uphill battle. The Dems want to send $25 billion to U.S. automakers to help them deal with the current slowing economy. The money would come, we're told, from the $700 billion rescue plan that's already in place. Congressional Republicans and President Bush are quite reluctant to back any additional money for the auto industry. Which Republican governors really stand behind Sarah Palin? Well, many of them stood on stage with her at the Republican Governors Association meeting. But their show of unity was beset with awkward moments. Dana Bash is in Miami with that story. Sarah Palin entered a ballroom at the Republican Governor's Conference to do something she never did in her 68 days as vice presidential candidate, hold a formal press conference. Given that, what message are you trying to convey here? I'm trying to convey the message that Republican governors are a unique team, a unique group. They are here. We are here together, united, I'm ready to reach out to the new administration to offer solutions that we know will work. But despite the 26 cameras and 100 plus reporters there, the press conference lasted only 11 minutes and abruptly ended after just four questions. Thank you all for coming and participating. In, uh, Cut off, no doubt, because of the awkward staging. A dozen of Palin's fellow governors brought in to stand behind her.